Skibbity toilet is one of the strangest and the most bizarre things I have ever seen. And I have seen a lot of things. This bizarre series of YouTube shorts have gotten as many as 250 million views per single video. I mean, it is as many as a lot of Mr. Beast's videos on his main channel. I mean, that is just crazy. And the animations are done to a triple A game quality. And to top it off, the Skibidi Toilet story, it has it all. There is war, there is tragedy, there is hope, there is despair. There is everything that you would ever want in the YouTube shorts. But why? How did this happen? How did this bizarre, unsettling and brain-rotting content stall the hearts of over 250 million people? How did we actually get here? And what is the actual story of the Skibidi Toilet? That is what I want to explore in this video. So join me on this journey of how a silly shit post became one of the biggest and the most popular video series to ever exist. The Skibidi Toilet series. So, the Skibidi Toilet. What is it? It's effectively this. This unsettling, bizarre, high-paced, overstimulating shitposting content inspired by the trend of the Yas and Sengis from TikTok. And I've got no idea if I'm reading this right. Anyway, it combines this amazing song with Source Filmmaker, which is kind of like Gary's mod. Effectively, it's a sandbox video game that allows you to do absolutely everything that you could ever dream of and make a video from it. The only limitation was your imagination. I mean, it is kind of like Roblox for boomers. Anyway, it combines those two things, for some reason, into this. It is an interesting combination for sure. And apparently the facial expressions have been inspired by the Paris brain on TikTok. And it's such a bizarre combination of things. I mean, why those? Why those things in particular? Nobody knows. But you know, over the many years, there have been a lot of animations created with the Source Filmmaker, as it was created back in 2012. But nothing, and I mean nothing, was quite as popular as Skibidi Toilet. Nothing has taken over the internet in a way that Skibidi Toilet has. And it all happened this year. All of the things which I'm talking about in this video happened this year. 2023 which is just so bizarre and i find that just so incredibly fascinating it absolutely boggles my mind how did this get so massive so quickly why head out of the toilet why g-man why this song in particular i mean nothing about this makes sense is it abstract art is it shit posting nobody knows but these fast-paced bizarre edits have completely taken over the internet and started a storyline that no one expected so how did this all start? How did the skibbity take over the internet? Where exactly did it come from? And this whole thing started with this YouTube channel, which was the creator of this bizarre trend, which was apparently created by this guy, Alexi. And today, this channel has over 24 million subscribers and 11 billion views. That's a billion with a B, which is just insane. I mean, that is completely insane. I mean, that is one third of the views of Mr. Beast's main channel, which is just mind blowing that a single person making silly shit posts has one third of the views of a man and a professional team spending millions of dollars per video, which is just, I mean, that's just crazy. And I suppose that just shows that you don't have to have millions in your bank account to go viral, just a lot of shitposting talent. But how did this get so popular? You see, this dude, he was no stranger to Source Filmmaker and making animation. He was using it to create various videos at least six years prior to 2023. He was making GTA San Andreas memes, Transformers and various other memes. I mean, nothing was safe from the shitpost of this dude. However, the first Skibidi was posted in January this year, 2023. And from the very beginning, it was clear that this is going to be something big, that this is going to be massive. While other videos got 13, 31 million views, the Skibidi got 71, 102, 122 million views. Any other topic gets 13, 14 million views, but the Skibidi, it blows up every single time. And this whole thing, it started with this video. <laughs> Which was interesting, to say the least. And it has immediately stolen the hearts of, I don't know who, probably kindergartens, who find this kind of bizarre content just hilarious. And it all started with a simple Skibidi toilet head. But in no time, we had the Skibidi toilet army attacking the world. They're taking over. I mean, nobody is safe. And we get to see new characters, like Skibidi Joe Biden, Skibidi Barack Obama, and Skibidi Putin. It's getting political and it's getting exciting. And why political themes? 
I have no idea. But you know what? This kind of contrast of a serious political face in this, it is kind of funny, I suppose. Further in the story, we learn that there is a way to fight the skibbity. And the attack is very simple. You, um, you flush them down the toilet. And to be absolutely honest, that makes total sense. I mean, if there is a way to fight a head sticking out of a toilet, flushing it down seems to be a pretty reasonable way. And in the following series, we meet the Skibbity Toilet's enemy, the camera crew. At least, that's what I call them anyway. And we have two factions fight against each other in this all-out war for freedom, for their people, for everything. All or nothing, Skibbity or peace. There are bosses, there are superpowers, we find out that there is espionage. Like here where we see that the Skibbity has been captured and they're trying to get the information out of him. But he ain't Skibbin, he's Skibbity. There is research and development, new factions joining the war. The speaker crew has joined the war to help the camera crew, giving them an edge in this theater of war. But just when you think the camera crew is winning and everything is going so well, the Skibbities, they're evolving. They're getting stronger, better, faster. Nothing can stop them. We have a full out war, it's incredible, it's bizarre, it's skibbity. And that is pretty much the whole story of this bizarre series. And I've watched all of them. I have watched all 62 videos of the skibbity toilet. I may be losing my mind, please help. I mean, it is pretty fascinating. The story has a continuously shifting power dynamic between the two factions in the war. Constantly evolving and constantly changing, continuously giving you more unexpected events. You can never quite know who's going to win. Is it going to be the camera crew? Is it going to be Skibbity? I guess you just have to wait and watch another one. Although I do have to say, it got boring pretty quickly. Once you see the pattern, it's kind of all the same. To me anyway a 30 year old and clearly the target audience but for kids you know i can imagine that this is pretty exciting it is also just so goddamn well animated i mean just look at this the attention to detail the effort the cinematography the storytelling the sound effects all of it is so well done this dude could get a job at pixar making some of the most amazing movies in the world but he's making skibbity the true hero and the level of creativity is just insane. If I had a task to create something so creative, so bizarre and execute it so well, there is no way in which I'd be able to do that. But honestly, the guy who made this, he was very smart. He put two factions against each other in a constantly changing tides of war, constantly re-engaging its audience, giving them new stories, new events, new things happening. And uh, they did monetize that pretty well. They have created a whole goddamn ecosystem of the Skibbity Toilet. There is Marriage Store, there is Discord, there is Reddit, there is even a mobile video game called the Skibbity War. That's right, there is a Skibbity Toilet mobile video game. Just when you think the lore ended, they pull you back in. They're giving you more. There is no escape from the Skibbity. And it has been downloaded over a million times. Although I am a bit creeped out by the fact that this is designed for four-year-olds. It is a bit weird isn't it? And that kind of just makes me a little bit sad, because who else would be watching this except kids? This brain-rotting, unsettling, overstimulating content is watched by kids. In fact, apparently, there is a skibbity toilet syndrome, which according to the Urban Dictionary, refers to kindergartens who enjoy unfunny and silly content, and it is a made-up syndrome associated with being absolutely obsessed with this kind of video. And of course, there is parental advisory suggested, because watching this on repeat and repeat while your little brain is developing, it can't really be good for you. Anyway, I have actually played the mobile game. And aside from it being clearly paid to win, completely filled with ads, incredibly repeatable and done at a mediocre at best quality, it's not bad, I suppose. I mean, it kind of just seems like a money grab. I mean, it is one of those games where you have to watch an ad anytime anything is happening. Whenever you want to get more lives or you want to upgrade anything. Alternatively, of course, you can just pay for it. State of the gaming nowadays it's just so sad. On their merch store, we can find phone cases, backpacks, t-shirts, art, and many, many things. A lot of those, I would say clearly designed for children. It's sad, but I don't really know what I expected. Although I am a little bit annoyed that they don't sell toilets. This is absolutely unacceptable. I feel that this would have been ideal for this channel. Anyway, I find it fascinating. How a silly shitpost created a massively popular video series and a whole business around it. How making bizarre, completely nonsensical videos made this guy millions in such a short amount of time. As all of this happened this year, 2023. And that is the Skibbity Toilet. Be sure to be a real Skibbity and watch another one of my videos so that me losing my mind in the process of making this didn't actually go to waste. Peace out.